A brand new tater tot casserole for you to try. Let's make this. This is not one that I've ever made before or shared with you before. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be good. But we are also collaborating with Desiree. She's tagged in this video and you need to tell us who won this challenge. It's a budget friendly challenge. And we also want you to guess in the comments below how much this cost. Whoever gets closest to the total amount will be entered to win a prize. The prize happens to be Desiree's new cookbook, which is fantastic. So if you're looking for more budget friendly meals, you'll want to check out her cookbook anyhow. Let's begin. To my absolutely massive skillet, I have a few tablespoons of olive oil. I will add a metric ton of garlic. Looks good. To my garlic and olive oil, diced up chicken breasts. I have two of them, about a pound. And a little salt, a little pepper. You know the drill. I am also going to add some ranch powder. You could really use whatever seasoning you like. I don't care. Onion powder. Cook your chicken until it's not gonna poison your family. Stop trying to poison your family. To my chicken, a half a stick of butter. Melt that shit down. Now that our butter is melted, a third a cup of flour right into the pan. I am going to add milk right into this pan. Spilling it all over your feet and stove is important. Into our chicken milk mixture, I have freshly shredded sharp cheddar. Add in a handful or two. If it's not freshly shredded, it will not melt properly. Sometimes that's important. I am going to add in a little bag of real bacon bits. I'm realizing right now that I may have gone over budget. Stir it around. We are going to add in two bags of steamed frozen broccoli. You knew it was coming. For this, I like to take my broccoli and smash it in the bag. That way I don't get giant chunks of broccoli in my casserole. Dump your broccoli right into your pan. This meal is broccoli forward, as apparently most of my meals are. We are now going to top our mixture with a bag of tater tots. Arrange them in a design, don't be a psychopath. And yes, they are still frozen. Pop your tater topped casserole into the oven. We want the tater tots to get mostly brown and then we will top it with cheese. We'll be back. Our tater topped casserole is looking nice and golden, maybe a little crispy, but I'm from the Midwest, so we're gonna add a little bit more cheese on top. Looks delicious, let's pop this back into an oven until this is melty and golden brown. Here you have it, a super cheesy, super easy, one pan meal. But you need to guess in the comments below how much you think this cost, and like I said, whoever gets closest will be entered for Desiree's giveaway of her cookbook. I know what you're thinking, is it even good? And honestly, I've never made this before, so I don't know. Let's give it a taste. Watch Desiree's video and decide for yourself who won this challenge. It was a one pot, easy, quick, affordable, budget friendly meal. I think I hit the nail on the head. This is so good. I don't know what Desiree made, but I'm telling you right now, you need to make this. But of course it's good, I made it. Follow along for more aggressive tutorials.